Hey guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome cross watchers and anyone new to the channel. Happy to have you join us. Make sure you come say hi in the comments. I will reply. Um, yeah, so it's a little gloomy here today. My apologies for the, the dark background. <laughs> I'm going to try to move through this before I lose electricity or internet um, pulling from Archangel Michael sort of light Oracle to activate the reading let's get a message for you 13 get your power back you have forgotten who you are you are a child of the divine so take back your power by the way not for nothing this message has been coming through um, in almost every reading in this series, in some way, shape, or form, usually through um, the Magician or let's say the Queen of Wands, there's a focus on reclaiming power. So I sort of like that. It's a good reminder anyway. All right, so what I'm gonna do is um, pull the spread, give you my general impressions. We'll get the details from the clarifiers. Keep in mind, it's a general reading, not a private reading. So if it doesn't resonate, that's okay. Um, just take what does speak to you, leave the rest. I do offer um, private readings. There is a link below, but I have a special for Lion's Gate, which is 8 8. The Lion's Gate portal actually opens on July 28th, closes August 12th, with its peak around August 8th. So I'm offering you $88 off of my regular private reading rate. So if it's something that's been a little out of reach and you've been wanting one, there's a link below that says Lionsgate Special. Click on that. It will take you to the information so you can read all about it. I'm very excited. This offer is available for the month of July. Okay. All right. Um, I got neighbors trying to... I don't know if they're using a hammer on the wall here. I've got <laughs> all kinds of noise and distractions. So let's see how we get through this, Capricorn. Okay, here we go. Nice overall energy is the Six of Swords. This is about some peace of mind. Getting through something that's been challenging um, to some calmer waters. What's in the way of that temperance? So the, the, what's crossing you usually comes through is where's the challenge? Where's, where's the issue? And temperance does speak to um, patience. It speaks to an energy that uh, focuses a lot on restraint and self-control and sort of going with the flow, right? Not raging against the machine, so to speak. So it could be a little difficult for you to go with the flow since you really are f coming through as needing to get beyond something difficult, likely having to do with your divine masculine. That's in your unconscious awareness. There it is in the past, Empress. So we have this very powerful dynamic between you and your beloved. Uh, potentially some twin flame vibes coming through. Let's see in your conscious awareness, the four of swords. Okay, so what I'm seeing in the past is you've been open and receptive, um, very connected to your person. I'm getting the impression that there's been some trouble in paradise that you really need to heal from, and it's taking time to get beyond all of it, which is why temperance is your challenge. It's just kind of decompressing here in uh, the near future three of cups feels like there's a, a cause for celebration possibly some form of reconciliation on the path so let's get some details for you here six of swords and temperance two of pentacles knight of swords the world card um yeah the two of Pentacles is almost like there's something feels stalled out, both with temperance and the two of pentacles. Twos are always about decisions, choices, etc. But sometimes with the two of pentacles, there's like a stalling for time. So you may be stalling for time until your person comes in 
with some form of clarity that will allow you to kind of move forward, drawing that cycle to a close and potentially beginning a new cycle. So I, 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 I am seeing here that um, either something was said or done that doesn't make sense to you. Uh, you are in your unconscious awareness really drawing on this person's energy to come in and make it right or make it make sense stalling for time because you really do want to get beyond this and heal um, but it's almost as if you're leaving some window of opportunity open for this person to come through let's see the emperor in your unconscious awareness ace of pentacles yes four of pentacles ace of wands um I think in your heart of hearts, um, what isn't maybe on your on your mind in any conscious way, but is something that you, um, in those quiet moments, that you sort of reflect upon, um, new beginnings, an offer from this person, something that this emperor takes that ace of wands and reignites the torch of passion. Four of pentacles, though, is somewhat closed off. Um, it's coming through with some stingy energy, someone who is sort of dug in, and I don't think it's you. Uh, I, I feel like on some level, if this person took this action, gosh, a very similar message came through for Sagittarius. So if you have Sagittarian energy in your chart, if you're dealing with someone with Sagittarian energy, you may want to watch that reading if you haven't already, because there's a very similar theme here um, of, you know, just this person not taking action. It was the emperor for them as well. And the, the patience that you're drawing off of and waiting and giving this person time and opportunity, but they're sort of dug in or stalled out or resistant or um, withholding. Yeah. Empress in the past. Whoops. Can't make it up. Mm -hmm. I do feel you're, you're trying to heal. I feel like something here has hurt you and, you know, broken your heart. You're really trying to heal. Everything's kind of come to a standstill. So uh, with the hanged man, it does feel connected to this because it's coming from the bottom of the deck, which for those of you who are brand new is either within your own psyche, meaning your unconscious awareness, or playing out behind the scenes. And I feel you're aware that you're dealing with somebody who's, who's pretty um, buttoned up, you know, shut down, buttoned up, not taking any action. Um, stingy coming through that way. And so there may be a lot of stagnation that has been existing for some time, making it hard to heal because it's like everything's left hanging. You know, you're like in the matrix here and it feels like it's gone on for a while. So let's see the four of swords in your conscious awareness. So now we're bringing the healing and the need for it. Oh, yes. Capricorn, my goodness. Again, oh, like I'm sensing no communication, possibly separation all the disappointment, all, all the high hopes that just kind of slip through your fingers. Um, and all it would take is a simple message, something from the heart, something that speaks truth, something that feels sincere. It's not like you're asking for much here, but I feel like that's what, you know, moving beyond this is difficult because it feels like you were left hanging. Um, so there's no closure if that makes sense and that even if you don't want closure per se like you don't want to close the whole relationship you may want to close out this difficult cycle so that you can have that open receptivity again to a new cycle to a new beginning and all it would take is the sweetest of messages to clear the path for some healing for you. 
and you're getting nothing. So, three of cups in the near future. Three of pentacles, five of pentacles, three of wands. You have all the threes here because we have the three of swords here in the past. So we're already aware that there's been um, some measure of pain, disappointment, uh, definitely hurt feelings at the very least. So with the other threes coming in, it's about getting on the same page in what is coming toward you. And the three of wands is a card of manifestation. So I do feel that what you're trying to manifest here is getting some cooperative connect connection with this person, having just the joy come back into the connection. Three of cups can be about reconciliation. Three of pentacles is like, yeah, okay, we need to kind of focus on something more solid here between us where we're building a solid foundation upon which um, we can build something more long lasting, but that whatever this is that has befallen you, it's been a setback. So the opportunity to manifest something new is there, um, but we definitely have to talk about the elephant in the room, which to me speaks to some measure of feeling sort of forsaken, left to your own devices, rejected, abandoned, devalued, comes through a lot for that five of pentacles. So I do feel like you're looking to resolve that, to reconcile that, and then to go back to the drawing board in a co-creative, co cooperative way so that you don't make those same mistakes. That's what the world is about. The world is, a, is Saturn. It's about learning lessons so that we don't have to keep learning them on a loop. Um, and it just seems to me like something happened. You got hurt one way or the other. You're trying to heal. You're trying to get beyond it but you don't either have the closure or this person has their heels dug in and is, is either struggling or, or, you know, got a million walls up to just a simple message from their heart, message of love, a message of apology, whatever it is that, you, you know, you feel you need to move beyond what it is that has um, been holding you sort of in limbo for a while so that's what i'm seeing um yeah now this makes a lot more sense right get your power back don't forget who you are um you're not just a child of the divine you're the divine feminine for the love of all that's holy yes claim reclaim your power for sure you are being assisted in that regard uh, I will take this to the extended and look at what's been working for your connection, like the pros, cons, what works, what is not so helpful, opportunities that may be coming on board for the two of you. I will also get this person's message to you. What do they want to say? Uh, what are they picking up from you? What is spirit's message of guidance or some kind of confirmation or something insightful. We'll also get the hidden energies for your person, what's happening behind the scenes for them that they haven't shared, but that might be helpful for you to know. And then how might things unfold going forward? So that's what we're gonna do in the extended. There are links below for that. You've got option one, two, and three, because there are a couple different ways to get an extended. So be sure you're aware what you're clicking on. I've separated them now so that people are seeing it the very clear options. The link to the Lionsgate special is below the extended. So keep scrolling a little bit. That's what I've got. If you are getting something out of my readings, if they're helpful, if they're aligned, if they're resonant, please subscribe below. I, I cannot stay here if I cannot support myself. And all, all I'm asking for is subscriptions and views. That's how it works. Because if YouTube doesn't promote my work, then I can't make this work and keep bringing you this wonderful free content. So that's what my ask is. Um, yeah, that's it. Let me give you the astrology that showed up here. Temperance is Sagittarian energy. That's why I said if you've got Sag 
in your chart or your person does go watch that reading we have the knight of swords is um, gemini the world is saturn aquarius and capricorn emperor is um, aries energy we have the empress is venus taurus and libra venus is now in the sign of leo so that is a get your power back. Maybe that's why I'm getting that message over and over. Venus and Leo is like, look at me. Wait a minute, wait a minute, I'm here. Shine the light on me for a minute. I'm not going to fade into the background. So I love that that's possibly what the shift is for, for those of you that have, are getting that repeated message. Hanged man is Neptune, which rules Pisces. Um, high priestess is the moon. I know. Um, Page of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And that's what I have for you. All right, so I'm headed to the extended now. I'll see you there in a second. Bye for now.